Hi everyone, this is Faye from Face World Media. I'm sitting inside my home in Beijing right now. In this video, I want to talk to you guys about video.ai. Take a look at this logo here and make sure you spell it correctly. So on this channel, I have spoken long and passionately about micro content and repurposing content because I believe that whether you are creating content on YouTube or LinkedIn or TikTok or Instagram, it doesn't matter. Even if your video is super short, like three to four minutes, we've tested it out using video.ai. It is worth it by creating additional clips. And the reason is right now, people's attention span is so short, seven to eight second long. So when you create medium to longer form content, it's wasted when you don't repurpose them. So I'm going to walk you through video.ai. I'm really impressed by what this platform can do. In fact, I've secretly been following them for some time now. And this is the first time for us to give you a full on tutorial uh, inside and out of how to get started. So especially if you're a beginner, you're just kind of evaluating the platform or even evaluating whether you should repurpose your content or not. Is it expensive? Is it going to be time consuming? And does AI really work? How am I being helped? So this is the video for you. In addition to repurposing content, I want to show you how easy it is to get started. Uh, how intuitive the user interface is, how to switch between portrait and landscape videos, uh, as well as how to, you know, connect to social media platforms and you can schedule them automatically, schedule and publish them directly from video AI. Needless to say, you don't have to leave the platform to edit your video. There are templates built in, so you don't have to purchase Final Cut Pro or learn how to edit videos in order to make changes and revisions. There are also brand kits built in, so if you're like us working not only for our own brand, but also with and for other clients, it's a great place for you to save different colors and logos and videos and audio clips even. So let's take a look at that area too. Last but not least, I'm going to mention briefly about Vidi, which is their content assistant and it's AI driven. I'm going to have a separate video to dive into that as well, but I'm going to give you a first look of how everything comes together using the brilliant platform called Video AI. Hope you enjoy it. I'm going to see you at the end of this video. First of all, welcome to the video.ai homepage. It is really minimum. And by the way, I am currently using a 15 inch laptop. So instead of on my big desktop, just to know that if you have a bigger computer, it's even easier to navigate all the menu items. So on the left hand side, I have my homepage right from here. I can create a new project clicking on that. Look, you can easily import and enter a YouTube link. I'm going to show you in just a moment. And here on the right hand side, it says recommended videos. If you're a podcaster, if you're an educational content creator like I am on YouTube, or even commentary videos, product reviews, there's a lot of use case for that. But down here, there are also videos that are not recommended just yet, such as vlog, HDR videos, gaming videos. So take a look. It doesn't just stop there. What if you have files that are local on your computer? Maybe you use Dropbox or Box. You can also connect them directly. All right, before we dive in, I also want to show you a few other things to help you navigate your projects very easily, such as all projects. You can organize them very easily. You can create folders. If you're like us here at FaceWorld, you're managing projects not just for yourself, but also for your clients. This is very useful. Next is Brand Kit. You guys know that I'm also a global ambassador for Adobe Express. I absolutely love the idea of having brand kits because once again, we don't just use this for face world, but also for our clients. So here, depending on the brand, you can save these templates, upload the logo, upload uh, custom intros, outros, even brand color palettes so that they're readily available to you at any moment, even video clips and images and audios, as well as backgrounds. Last but not least, I want to show you very quickly how social media works. So under social media posts, you can see that you can connect up to all these major social platforms, TikTok, Facebook, Instagram, LinkedIn, Twitter, YouTube Shorts. These are the things we use regularly. And you can connect not only these accounts, you can publish and manage scheduled posts as well as published posts. So super helpful. With that said, you know, again, there are a lot of helpful tutorials on YouTube for video 
uh, as well as ways to get in touch with them very easily. These are very, very important to us. They also have a Discord channel, which I don't use as often, but I know many of you guys, creators, really enjoy that. With that said, I want to get started with a new project. Again, this video is intended if you have no experience, but I still want to show you how easy it is to just get started. As you know, I'm a YouTube creator, so I'm going to go to my YouTube channel, upper right-hand corner. Let me launch into my YouTube studio, and now I like to aim for anything that I create. Typically, they are 8 to 12 minute in length, and I'm going to go to content on the left-hand side here. And let's take a look at, for example, this first video, which is really quite short. Um, and I'm just going to click into this Adobe video. All I need to do is grab this link right here and then come back to video.ai. And look, if this uh, 1080p import is unavailable, you can actually import a 720 as well. So I'm going to just click on import. On that note, I also want to just mention that really don't worry about it. The video is too short because we have already run tests against video.ai for videos that are even just like three, four minute long. You can still get clips, but some of my videos, as you can see here, six, seven minute, eight minute, 10 minute, 16 minutes. It's really helpful to repurpose your existing videos, whether you have posted them originally on LinkedIn or YouTube or, you know, even Instagram and TikTok longer form videos. Uh, it's super helpful to repurpose them on multiple channels, even on the same platform. So once it's uploaded, you can see that now it has calculated the size of the video, the length, how many credits will be used. And caption language is detected as English. But here, there are other, not only accents or different versions of uh, English as a language, as well as the Spanish, French, and Dutch. So with that said, I'm just going to click on generate clips. But you also notice right here, you have choices. Generate more accurate and better clips by you know, basically specifying what types of content that is. And for me, I can also just leave it alone. You know, I don't have to specify anything, number of speakers or keywords, but you can do that because it's going to increase, more likely to increase the quality of your clips. So without doing anything, very automated, you know, I'm busy, I'm sure you are too. Let's go ahead and see the clips that it will generate by video AI. All right, as I was just walking away for just a few minutes, I came back and it's done. Not so bad on a 4G network overseas. On the right hand side here, you can see that my top three features Adobe Video has been sliced and diced from a roughly a little shorter than six minute video into eight clips. Let's click on that. First, I really like this interface. As you can see here, let's take a look. So we have our eight clips right here. For each one, there is a score. So the score is measured and automatically generated using AI to let you know, you know, what is the likelihood of this video to be ranking or go viral. And there's the length of the video as well. As you go through the video, you also have the options to click on the little heart. You can like it, unlike it, and then choose, you know, whether you want to just save it for later. And also on the top here, we have two drop downs. We have the videos in landscape or portrait, portrait split. By the way, we don't need that because I'm just a single person speaker there. Also a square video. I must say that I don't really see the square output as much from the other platforms. So I really appreciate it because there are times, you know, I'm thinking about like an Instagram post, I would prefer that. But for now, I'm going to showcase the portrait view, which is nine by 16. I can also choose to save the templates, um, you know, or simply apply a save the templates to the clips that I'm looking at. Now, they're also custom clip. What does that mean? You can create from timestamps or create from transcript. Okay, this is really important. I'm going to show you guys that just in a moment. First, let's have a listen. And Adobe Express allows us to schedule, you know, bulk schedule all these content onto multiple platforms. My team and I always thrive in setting things up at least, you know, weeks into the future. Resizing is a really big deal for us. Instead of recreating the same imagery or video over and over again, Adobe Express allows you to use a single click and resize, for example, a landscape imagery into square or vertical. And on top of that, it's listing all these social media templates so I can be sure that I'm using the right size. Pretty cool. I finish on a full sentence, first of all. 
And you'll notice that because I was showing so much of my screen during that video, arguably speaking, this probably isn't necessarily the best video to repurpose, but I still want to show you guys because some of you guys are using Zoom webinars and you're doing teaching tutorials. But remember, you can always bounce it back to landscape. That's something that I really do enjoy. So I'm going to replay this. This allows us to schedule, you know, books. As you can see, because my original video was really intended for uh, a bigger, you know, a landscape video, now I can just switch back and forth. Even if I decided to resize my video, repurpose my video using a portrait, halfway through, I'm thinking about, man, I really want this to be a landscape video. I have the choice then. Now let's take a look at down here. What if the video has something I do want to tweak? I don't love it 100%. I can click on edit, but if I do love it, I can download it. I can share it with my team, with my clients. I can take a look at description and transcript templates, and I can also rename it or delete it. I think some of you guys are thinking about editing at this point. So I'm going to click on that. And from here, you don't have to leave the platform. You can edit everything from here. So let's take a look at this interface right here. First, immediately defaulted to all templates, I can click on a template and have my video resized perfectly in the middle, have the transcript at the top, you know. So typically I like to use something that's more full screen. So I'm going to go through the templates just so you can see what you might like. You can have a logo, some graphics in the top right hand corner or left hand corner. And you can see that you can actually, all these elements are movable. So you're not tied down to you know, just a single design. So really cool. Down here, you can also slice and dice and you can edit the video further. If you like this template so much, what you can do is you can save the template by click on the save template button here. And you can say phase or yours favorite one, click on save, close. I can also save this as a draft if I want to continue to work on it. Again, I can share this with everyone or even directly publish on social media. I also want to show you the fact that the templates don't just apply to landscape, but certainly for vertical videos as well. Many of you guys are, you know, who follow our channel are publishing on platforms such as, you know, TikTok and YouTube Shorts. I think this is so essential to see. I personally just love more minimum designs such as the ones I'm showing on the screen right now. All right, so the editing features are pretty straightforward. There's one thing I really wanna talk to you guys about, which is how to edit your video using transcript. I think that is a huge win. So I'm gonna click on this little button, the drop down here and say, create from transcript. So look, this is my entire transcript. So let's say, you know, hi, hey guys, it's Faith from Face World. And I'm gonna go ahead and just pick out, like not by the way, Adobe Express comes with 25,000 fonts. You can do this. I can save, also save it to my favorite. So spread out our content, TikTok and more. All right. What if I just want to create a clip based on this part, this transcript? This is something I really love and it's so easy to use. So check it out. Preview and create. From here, I can create a title as well. Adobe Express benefits. You can name it anything you want. You can change it later as well. Click on confirm right then and there. It shows me where the clip is coming from minute 230 to 301. And it's exactly 30 seconds. I didn't really plan on this. It just is. And now finalizing the pixels. So the express comes with. So I also want to say, hey, I want to watch this in landscape. Adobe Express comes with 25,000 fonts you can use right away. It's all part of their premium package for under $10 a month. Absolutely love it. I think this feature, even though it seems so straightforward, it's something that we as creators, as small business owners, desperately need. So please let me know so far in the comments below something that you might find helpful, anything else you would like me to concentrate on and dive in deeper. In addition to shorts and clips, I want to show you another feature here under chapters. Chapters are really important, for example, for a platform such as YouTube. So the chapters here automatically dive into your content and divide it into two sections and give them titles. So the first part, it appears to video AI that I was talking about Adobe Express. Is it worth it or not? Like an introduction. And then in the second half of my video, I delve into how to start a business with Adobe Express. So that's a slightly different topic than the first half. So I think it's really fascinating. You know, I may agree or disagree, but given that this video is already pretty short, I really appreciate 
that you know it's able to automatically generate these chapters and dividing the content into two to three different sections. Next here is download. You can see how many downloads and actions that you have done. And it's almost like a log of the things that you have done to your video. I think that's quite fascinating, especially you also run a team. As previously mentioned, all your drafts are saved here. So you can easily bounce back to a historic version of it. It's almost like if you're using you know, Squarespace or WordPress, video AI gives you the ability to go back to a previous version. I think that is absolutely huge. Last but not least, this final feature, AI Assistant. I feel like this feature deserves its own uh, walkthrough, which I'm going to do. But for now, I want to let you know that it exists and to encourage you to explore. Right off the bat, you can write show notes using Viddy, which is their video content assistant. You can generate detailed blog, list down key ideas, create a Twitter thread or create a, a LinkedIn post, you name it. So you can simply ask a question and dive in deeper. This part is a little bit similar to ChatGPT, if that's something you already use, or any other AI system such as you know Google Bard. And what I love about this is it takes you to another level. If you don't like some of uh, some of the prompts or some of the commands that are already there, features that are already exist in video AI, you can use Viddy, their AI content assist to help you go in deeper. So please let me know what you think of this tool overall. I really want to make this as basic as possible. And I look forward to your feedback and comments. If this has helped you, please, please share it with one more friend and colleague using the link. And that will really help us a great deal. If you like this one, please watch the next video. I'm going to see you there.